now I'm going to talk about how you can update records in Cosmos DB for MongoDB API using PyMongo. So I have got my Azure Cosmos DB already created. So you can see that I'm using Cosmos DB free tier so that I don't have to pay anything for this testing purpose. And I've got few uh, collections already in the HRDB database. And when I created this um, Cosmos DB, I chose Mongo API as its uh, supported version. Right, so API version um, which I need to use or code against. Now I will pick up one of them. Let's say I will pick up the books which has got few records and to view all of them uh, I can also use something like the MongoDB compass and you can see that I have got few record like name of the sorry not in the books so I will go into another collection I might go into let's say cities and then I have got few documents available so you can see one by one I can also write a small piece of query and then find the details so but you can see the whole idea so I've got a few records right and then I have let's say partition key defined that is country which basically is sharding key as well if you go to the compass, I can also view it in a tabular format. So you will be able to see that I have got few um, name of the cities, country, rate of the cities, and then in one I have got continent, right? So you can just uh, see that um, the rest all do not contain that field. So that's why it is not showing up over here. Okay, so you can just remove this, let's say, to make it kind of more logical view and it looks like a tabular but actually each of them are individual json documents and you can see that uh, it looks so this looks better because it's i can now um, see the output pretty quickly now what i'm trying to do now at this point in time is that i'm trying to do some update into this record so existing record so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to first go ahead and open my visual studio code so to work against uh, python um, you can use visual studio code it's pretty uh, handy and then you can also use um, the typical uh, components like um, the python extension the pylint all of them will help you uh, come up with this kind of um, nice little interface which will help you get the, the value pretty quickly. So what I'm going to first do is that I'm going to first, uh, let's say, um, remove all of them and just initialize the, the Py Mongo client with the MongoDB URL. So this URL you can find from the Cosmos DB portal, uh, you can just pick up the whole URL which contains all the username, password, and the URL of the of the database with the port number, everything included. And then I'm reaching out to this database called HRDB. And then I'm also reaching out to this series collection, right? So that's how I start with. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a function which will basically display the record because I want to show you the record um, uh, before and after. So let's just write it once. So I'll say for C in, and then I always have to start with my collection to get the record. So I'll say my collection dot find, and then if I don't pass any condition, it'll find all of them. And I can just use print and once I get each of these records I just print each of these cities that's gonna print me all the cities which are there into my local uh, or a cosmos DB database so let me go here and then cl click on new terminal and then if I go and say pi 
and then demo pi that's the file i'm writing code against and then just execute you can see that i have now four entries it's exactly the same as you can see from the from the mongodb compass tool as well right that's that's what i have right now at this point in time in front of me so i have got four records which is good now let's say i want to update a specific record um let's say i want to update the record number three which has got a from id so the step is that you need to first find the record and then you modify it so to do that let me call this method again once i update i'll also show you the record and then i say print records is updated and then i just print the newly uh, inserted or updated record now to get the updated version one one value so you start with the collection and then you call the method called update one right that is for one record now update one takes few things first of all you need to search with some value so let me search with uh, the unique identifier which will return only one record at a time so that's easy for me so let me pick up the record number let's say three okay that's that is also a string so let me just pick up the record number three now this will get me the record and then the next parameter is where i need to update now update means i'm going to change a field value let's say i want to change the value name itself okay so from hyderabad to something else so let's just uh, use the the same syntax but this time i'll use something like set this will allow me to change the value of the field now set takes field name and its corresponding value so i can either pass let's say name only one field and its new value let's say i want to say new um i'll say um, noira okay give a different city name okay and then i can also change the name of the country holds here right so i can do this thing so let's see how one record looks like so if i um if i assume that it's everything is fine and try to run this code this gonna go ahead and then find the record number three modify it and then show it over here now you can see for this record number three at the bill bottom where i'm running this code the the name has changed to noida from hyderabad it was earlier the record number three was hyderabad now it is noida so it is it has changed so i can change one record by finding that specific record with some search criteria and then modify the field value now one of the beauties of this is that if i want to add additional field i can pretty much do that by adding thing things like a continent okay if i do that okay and then say i want to say asia what happens in noira there will be new field added with the value asia which is pretty convenient because then i can now see that the new continent field is kind of updated or added over here even if there is no value it will go ahead and add that if there is any value it will go ahead and change it now i can do this kind of update um for um kind of multiple records so now generally speaking if you want to do sort of like a bulk update you can do bulk updates uh, but before i go to the bulk update what i wanted to quickly touch on is that uh, a specific field like which holds integer value uh, there are a couple of interesting things available so imagine that i have now this value called rate okay so that's field if i want to increase the rate by uh, let's say two for each of the cities here or or just the one city that's also fine uh, i want to increase by two 
I don't know what is the current value, but I want to increase the two. So to do that, uh, for numeric values, we have something called incremental. So I and C, if you use that, and then along with the rate, if you say two, what happens? The rate now at this point in time is one for Noida. That's the record number three. And then it will become three by saying in rate, increment rate by two is that it's gonna go ahead and increment by two, okay? Yeah, so if I just go ahead and run this uh, code uh, below and then say, oh, I want to run this, what happens? This is gonna go ahead and see, make the rate value here, you notice here for the Noida, make the rate value to three because it now increased that two to three. Now, if I want to do that for all the records, right, all of them, I'll probably leave it blank because then it will find everything. And then I say that increment by two. Now what happens that all of the countries or cities which has got rate one will have plus two, but for Noida it will become five because then, because Noida is currently three. So let's see the experience. Now I will not use update one. Instead, I will use update many. That's gonna go ahead and do a bulk update for multiple records. Now this bulk update is pretty helpful in larger records that you don't have to iterate through individual and then do it. So you can see that uh, each of them has become three because all, they were one before. Now Noida has become five and um, so on and so forth. If you have any, uh, let's say city, which doesn't have any um, rate, then it'll be different. So, but this is the whole idea, right? Now you can see that the continent is kind of over here, right, for Asia. Now, if you want to, let's say, update or kind of uh, do the set, uh, you can say set and then say continent and then say Asia. What happens if I run the bulk update over here? Um, all of the record will now have this uh, continent Asia added into the data. Now, if you go back over here and say refresh, you will see all the cities I have right now have a new field called Asia, right? Because they are all in JSON. So let me show you in JSON as well. So all the, all the record will now have counted and not just the Noida, but also all other values, right? So you can see that I can do a lot of um, update statement um, in a pretty effective manner. I can do for one record, I can do for multiple records. So it's very rich. And if you have, let's say, array kind of data set, uh, it, it becomes much more convenient to write this kind of concise code to do uh, a lot of uh, complex activities if you have to do them uh, in a, on a regular interval. So this looks pretty simple uh, and straightforward to me in terms of doing an update in the Cosmos DB for MongoDB API. Hope you have enjoyed that. Thank you very much.